little thumbnail pic. Holy sh dude. This is actually crazy. Oh my god. It actually even looks black in some angles. It's like almost even more savage than uh this is more savage than Bailey 720. Dude, that is crazy. These cars are like scaring me. They're like, bro, I want to go. So again, Apex Motorsports, hit up Paul for any of your needs. This wrap drop is insane. Like, I don't see any flaws with it whatsoever. Dude, this color is crazy. Oh my God. It's the same color as Jimmy's car, but it's completely different. I think it's because of all the angles the car has. The angles and the curves. Yeah. Like black and it turns purple. Dude, it's black and then it's purple and then it's like all of the above. I'm gonna air it out real quick. Oh man, dude, I haven't been in this car in like two weeks. Da, 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 da. Ah, that's right. I'm missing my uh, brake pad sensors. That's what it was. Yeah, cause I, cause yeah. I, cause I had just uh, installed my um, my BBK yeah. and it didn't come with sensors. So, nah, I should have gone to a dealership and copped them, but I, I totally forgot. Ugh. Can't forget the wing, man. Dude, this is crazy, bro. This is next level. Holy shit. I don't have any words, man. I really don't, dude. Like this is, I think this is the color for this car actually. I'm gonna I'm I'm hold that thought until I put the black wheels on. But like, it's black, but it's not. It's just beautiful, man. You can't even tell it's red. It literally looks just like paint. Like this, huh? Yeah. I'm really excited like to see it. At all. The 3M2080 was similar, uh -huh. but like on certain sections, yeah, like, You'd have no orange peel right here, then like right here in the middle, all of a sudden you'd have orange peel. So, APX Motorsports, we got the FedEx truck coming, so we're not gonna hear anything for the next four seconds. But yeah, absolutely no flaws on this wrap. Tell us a little bit about uh, APX Motorsports, Paul. Uh, we're a new business. We've been in the industry for over seven years, but we just moved to this spot less than a year ago. We started February 2020. Okay. And it's been going good so far. Uh, you can take a look at Ray's RCF. And that is what you guys can expect. Nothing but quality here at APX Motorsports with Paul. Uh, if you need your car wrapped and you know you don't accept anything but the best for your car and your build, go ahead and hit up Paul. He'll get you taken care of. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out your Mustang now, right? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> dude, let's go check that thing out. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, dude, I was just telling... Uh, Paul that when I saw him wrap uh, Jimmy's Camaro in chalk I was just I saw all the edges and the way he was doing it and they're just professional like I mean I did a decent job when I would self-wrap my car but this is really cool seeing how like a professional does it how long have you been in business less than a year here oh here yeah. but like how long has, have you been doing it overall uh, overall he's been doing it over seven years and then he, like Four years? Oh shit, it's been a long time. What color are you guys doing this car? PPF or? Oh, you do PPF too? Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> You'd rather not. Yeah, but if I would have known, dude, I would have had you do the my super sec, the front end. Alright. Yeah, I'd yeah, know. I'd rather not. <laughs> PPF is a lot more time Especially with the, because uh, that truck has like factory stripes, but they're matte and the paint's oh, gloss. Right. So, dude, and then that gets real, real convoluted real fast. This uh, just an AMG GT? Dude, satin black's the best, man. That was the original color I had my car in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the satin black. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'll keep... Wait, how long is the Inozi Tech wrap good for? No one really knows, dude. No, is it still new? It's you so don't new, know. Nobody really knows. Like, everyone's peeled it off, like, 
before like a year, you know? It hasn't even been like a year since it came out. Before a so, year, or the company yeah. as a whole. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> so no one's even had it on for like over a year. Huh. Yeah. Do I want to be the first? <laughs> We'll let Jimmy be the first. Yeah, we'll let Jimmy be the first. Dude, uh, that's crazy, man. Like, because the adhesive isn't as strong as uh, the 3M and the Avery, so. Not even close. Would you say, is it really, do you have like a small piece anywhere? Yeah, let's go check that. Dude, like, because uh, when uh, my car was sat in block, I did it Avery. Yeah, that's where I was at. Yeah, like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. 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 Yeah, I'm Badass colors out here, dude. That's what I love about wrap shops, dude. You guys have like the rainbow at your disposal. Cause I've seen the samples, but the samples is like not actual wrap, you know? Let me cut out a little piece for you. Yeah, cause I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested to see how the adhesive is compared to 3M and Avery. What are you using on this AMG GT? Uh, Avery 7 Black. Yeah, it's the same one I had. Actually, uh, when I my car was sat in black towards the end of it, uh -huh. I, I I got two kittens, and my car was in the garage, and that's where their litter box was. Yeah. So they would uh they would start climbing up on the car, oh. but since they were kittens, they would they didn't know any better, so they like I had some like scratches on the quarter panel and everything. But yeah, I, I have no idea where that video cut out. I accidentally like slid it, but but yeah, it's so nice seeing a fresh set in black compared to. My cat scratched one. You just pack it on? Yeah. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, let me. I mean, you, you felt the AV3M. Like, once you pack it on, it, like, you still gotta kind of force it to pull it off. Dude, even even just touching the vinyl? Yeah, there's it's literally in, no, no pack. There's like nothing there. Yeah. That, that's like immediately like noticeable compared to the Avery and the 3M. If you guys look at this, so like, compared to paint. It does look really good. It looks like paint. But dude, that's insane. You can literally tack it on and it comes off yeah. like nothing. That's why it's an issue like installing it around corners and stuff. Really? Yeah. And then does it stretch as good as Avery or 3M or not even close? Um, it stretches pretty good. Like, stretch good. Start pulling it. Oh yeah, it stretches pretty good actually. Huh. Once again, guys, this is a nosy tech. They have super, super gloss stuff, but like, Paul said it's a new company. But that's crazy, man. I'm, I'm really glad I paid you to do this, man. <laughs> like, there, there's no way. I mean, yeah, I've wrapped my car myself yeah. before, but with that level of tack, dude, yeah. I would have for sure had some issues. 100%. Yeah, pain to install, yeah. Well, even like on the bumpers, I would heat up the bumper so much uh -huh. that like, I would have to stretch it a bunch to get yeah. it to stick. And the 3M, you know, was super sticky. Yeah. Even after stretching it so many times, it would be less sticky. It would get to that level. Yeah. So if I did that with that, it wouldn't have stuck. There's no yeah. way. That's a difficult bumper on, especially Lexus. Oh, the dude. It's pretty difficult bumpers. How do you like the overall build with like the Brembos and everything? It's sick ass build. <laughs> dude, I just threw those Brembos on too, like two days before. It's not factory, huh? I looked at it. I was like. No, so I'm. Uh, I got those through race technologies. I needed. Uh, just brake pads and rotors and. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, I, I worked with them and I, I have the only RCF in North America with the uh, Brembo GTS system, which is a type three ro two piece rotors, the GTS calipers, and um, they're almost an inch bigger than factory. Yeah, they're massive. They're massive, yeah. But they, they don't have a matching rear BBK, so we're running factory rear calipers with, uh, with the, um, the, the matching rotors. You said you had uh, black HRs, huh? Uh, no, so I'm gonna powder coat these black. Oh, so okay. yeah, yeah. So I have some champagne ones. I have uh, some five spoke stone champagne with brush faces. I'll probably put those on sometime today. Um, maybe meet up with Jimmy later so he can take like three pictures yeah. with these wheels. But I'm gonna drop these off maybe tomorrow or Thursday to get them gloss black. Gloss black would You think so? Because yeah. I, I was pretty iffy about either gloss black or uh, satin black, and my buddy's like, your whole car's gloss, just gloss do gloss. Black, yeah. Cause, I mean, being packed every single week is not a bad thing, dude. It's good for business. That's uh, what people don't realize about anyone that owns an automotive shop. They, uh, they're always so busy, they don't have enough time to work on their own car. It's really dirty right now. 
2018. Is it a 10 speed? Uh, manual. Manual? Speed. Well, what color would you do next on this car? I had a color in mind. It's a nose tech army green. Oh, I've uh, seen that color. Did someone do it already? Yeah. Shit. I just did it for one of my friends last week on his Mustang. Oh, so you. <laughs> so I can't do it anymore. Oh, that's crazy, man. I mean, you totally could, you know? Yeah. It's so a. Oh yeah, the khaki green. Isn't that the color that Kayla's doing on her Camaro? Yeah. Or she's doing uh, sand. sand yeah. She's doing sand, that's right. That looked pretty good. Yeah, it should look pretty good. I mean, this still looks pretty freaking insane, dude. I like it. Like, I drove by and I, the second I saw it, like, peeping from over there, I was like, yeah. dude, that has to be Paul's car. <laughs> then, uh, obviously, I saw the APX Motorsports on it. And, yeah, that's it, man. Oh, did you uh, do, uh, you wrapped the calipers too, right? Yeah, wrapped the calipers. Oh, uh, dude. side that I was like, this on the other side. Dude, you did a way better job on those than I did. I tried to do them in one piece in the F, uh -huh. and I had them all red, reflective wraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but with the new, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a pain, dude. It's it always shrivels up to try to do one piece. My, uh, but Brembo said uh, they don't recommend wrapping or painting their GTS calipers because uh -huh. they're coated with some special thing. Uh, okay. So that's why I, I just pulled the wrap on the rears off. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, that's sick. Black. Dude, only the, the trunk looks purple right now. Only the trunk looks purple, dude. And it's like, it's a ridiculous purple, dude. Yeah. Like, holy crap. Dude, I just, I, I really don't think the video is even going to do it any justice, you know? Uh, you got to see it in person, right? Like, the photos I sent you didn't do justice, huh? Uh, dude, like, I mean, it was obviously sick, but it wasn't this, you know? Like, even on my camera, it looks black right now. That's crazy, dude. And I like look at all the corners and everything, and it's just so nice having a vinyl wrap with no flaws for us to change, you know? I mean, I did, a, I did a pretty good job, but like, I mean, I had things here and there, and it wasn't this. Uh, it's a difficult car, though, to wrap your so. I taught myself how to wrap on my GT500. You had the Chevy GT500, huh? I had a Chevy GT500. That's like years ago, huh? Years ago, yeah, when I was in college, I sold it like three years ago. It's a 2010 with full bolt-ons. It converted to a 13 outside. I also have black as well. Huh? I remember that one. Yeah, that one was... Uh, so first I did it... I learned on it. I did it satin pearl white. Uh -huh. And then I did it satin black with the black suit, gloss black yeah. super snake stripe. And uh, I love that car, dude. I was just scared it was going to blow up because <laughs> I drove it so much back and forth to college. Uh -huh. I got all the purples and all the blacks, dude. But yeah, it's crazy. Dude, did you know that the videos on my iPhone actually come better than my actual DSLR? On YouTube, yeah, the only crappy part is the uh, the mic. Really? Yeah. It's uh, yeah. super HD and everything. It's crazy. <laughs> I do, it makes no sense, dude. So that's why I'm like, oh, I have my phone. I'll be solid, you know? But yeah, dude, I mean, I love my GT500. Like, I mean, we're both Mustang boys, you know? <laughs> People can talk all the shit they want. Like, they're, they're dope cars, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that is a pretty good angle for a picture. It's crazy, dude. Right here. It's like... That part looks black, that looks black, this looks purple. It's like a, it's like a cherry kind, of, like a black cherry. Yeah, exactly like that. Do you have any suggestions on how to care for the wrap? Is there anything special with a nosy tech? Um, to like, keep it like as clean as possible. Just, you hand wash it or? Yeah, I usually hand wash it. Soap and water for wash. Yeah. But um, yeah, just try to let it cook outside for a little bit first. Like okay. Two days maybe, just park it outside. Or, well, well, right now, cause it's yeah, freshly wrapped. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna detail spray, just watch around the edges. Okay. And it should be fine. After a few, after obviously a few days, and yeah. that wouldn't be an issue for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just have my detailer come on Friday or something and just use his foam gun and everything. Yeah, so I want to keep it nice and chill for as long as possible. And then uh, if I either rewrap it purple or satin black, it'll be coming back, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Fuck yeah, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Of course, brother. Peace, dude. As always, guys, hit up APX Motorsports. And uh, see you guys later next time. Uh, probably when the Super Snake is supercharged. <laughs> later, guys.